and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys for plenty of Barca news coming your way today because we have a lot of talk about midfielders in today's video on the agenda there Ilkay Gundogan, Lamine Yamal, Pablo Torre and Oriol Romeo. The deal is done. We have another new signing on the way so there is plenty for us to get through today. Sit back, relax and enjoy. And let's do this. Because if we do indeed begin with Ilkay Gundogan, who it's safe to say has been getting comfortable in the city of Barcelona over the weekend, and he looks very much at home, doesn't he, in Barca colours. He really, really suits our look. And now this morning, Gundogan was officially presented as a new Barca player alongside there, the Barca president, Juan Laporta. And Gundogan again spoke about his immense pride about joining the club, his delight upon being here. And he does genuinely seem like somebody who's making a dream come true. He is so, so happy to be at this club and he's loving every single moment. But I think at the same time, what was interesting today about his press conference, the way that he handled himself, really, I think he speaks with a lot of calmness. And he seems to be a player coming in here who, as much as he is proud and excited to be here, you also feel like he's ready. You also feel as though he is able to handle whatever comes his way, the pressures that players face at Barca and I do think right from the get-go here he can be a leader to this group and especially in the dressing room given that we've lost plenty of our veteran players over the past 12 months and I think all of us now cannot wait to see this man out there in a Barca shirt in our midfield and bringing all of his experience and quality to Xavi's team. And on the topic of midfielders, and especially given Gundogan mentioned actually helping the younger generation, helping them to grow and improve and go to that next level, well, why don't we talk here about such an incredibly talented young man in La Mina Mal? Because apparently there, those that have seen him in training over the past week or so, they have been absolutely stunned by what Yamal has produced. Apparently he's been absolutely incredible in those sessions, doing things Things there where people are literally saying, wow, that is impressive. And he continues to take every available opportunity to show Xavi exactly what he's capable of. And it's quite interesting right now because according to some of the early reports in the Catalan media here in pre-season, Xavi is really happy with what he's seeing from La Mina Mal. And next season, we may indeed get to see more of him in the first team there, in the dynamics of the first team, whether that be in training sessions regularly with the first team squad, whether that may be in matches with the first team, appearing there just as he did last season when he also wowed on his debut at the camp now. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see, firstly, how he performs in pre-season, if he can snatch these opportunities and show again the quality that he has. Well, Chaffee has said before that if you're good enough, you're old enough. If you're able there to play at the level that he needs, he will call on you. And it's great news right now, according to Fabrizio Romano, Barca have now reached a full agreement with Yamal over that new long-term deal. Now that he's turned 16, Barca there have the option to offer him a three-year contract that there will be until 2026. And it's our old friend there, Jorge Mendes, who's been handling those contract negotiations with the club. And it is absolutely fantastic news that even despite competition, there's so many clubs that would have loved to have had this young man at their club. But it's Barca that are going to have Yamal for many, many years to come. And on the topic of contracts as well, I also want to talk today about Alejandro Balde, because there has been a big report this morning from Mundo Deportivo that basically said Balde has rejected an astronomical offer from Manchester City. Apparently they have made a big attempt to signing this summer, trying to tempt him there to make the move to Manchester, but Balde has no intention of leaving. All he wants to do is stay at Barca and renew his contract here until either 2027 or 2028. A long-term deal, and that's a really important subject right now, guys, because Balde's current deal expires in the summer of 2024. So that is not long. That is not too far around the corner. We've got 
got to get his renewal wrapped up as soon as possible. And just like with Yamal, Barca have been working on this new deal for Balde. Again, the agent is, surprise, surprise, Jorge Mendes. And you're starting to see now why we want a good relationship with this guy, why we're happy to remain nice and close to him. He's everywhere right now. And if all goes to plan, apparently, in the media right now, they are saying Barca want to close the renewals of both Yamal and Balde, either before the USA tour or during that pre-season tour there. It should all start happening very, very soon in the coming days. And that'll be great news because these are two massive talents that we all want to remain at this club. But indeed, guys, if we do now move on to the brand new signing in our midfield, along with Gundogan, we can also welcome today... Oriol Romeo to the club. Fabrizio Romano there has given it is here we go. Full agreement with Girona has been reached. Medical has been completed and Romeo will become a Barca player this summer. A pivot option in midfield that Xavi has approved. Now he's spoken a lot about Romeo previously in previous videos there and like I said before it's not a signing here guys that we're going to go crazy about. It's not somebody who we're going to overload with hype but you never know. It might prove out to be an important signing because we know that Xavi is desperate for options in midfield, especially there in that pivot area. We are looking for somebody to complement Frankie de Jong in a double pivot perhaps. We're also looking for a player that may give us the option of using different systems and I do believe here Romeo has his uses. There are certainly things that he can be good at there in terms of recovering balls, breaking up play. I don't think opposition players like to face him. He's not really the kind of player you want to come up against one versus one because he can get on your nerves, he can get in your face and it can be a very, very uncomfortable game for you, so we have to find out here the right way to use him and I think, to be honest guys, in a summer here where we haven't been able to get our first choice options, nowhere near it to be honest, in that pivot area, we've not been able to spend the kind of money that we were hoping for to get the big, big names that we wanted, Romeo right now he is a stopgap option, he is somebody there who we're bringing in for the short term it's a low transfer fee, it's low wages and ultimately we just need him him to come in and do a job and I just hope here actually that he can be one of those signings whereby they come in and maybe it is a bit of an underwhelming signing maybe us fans aren't exactly sure what we make of it right now but maybe this could be a player that just surprises you that really hit the ground running that work hard to show what they can do and make the fans appreciate their contribution to the team and I would love to see Oriel Romeo come in here and surprise everybody let's hope that he can because in terms of the deal itself Romeo will cost around 5 million euros apparently there. That will be the fixed transfer fee, which is less than his release clause was at Girona. So Barca there have been able to bring that fee down just a little bit. But what is also interesting about this Romeo deal is that as part of that deal, Pablo Torre will go the other way to Girona on a loan deal for the coming season. So Pablo Torre, he is going to be leaving the club on that one-year loan deal to Girona. And actually, I think it's a great place for him to go. In terms of development there, in terms of actually playing regularly, this for me is a top club to go to for three reasons. Because number one here, Pablo Torre is going to a La Liga club. That is absolutely vital. That's really important there to gain experience in the league that Barca are in. It's familiar and it's experience there that he can try and replicate, hopefully when he comes back to the club. And not only that though, but I think it's the right kind of La Liga club. Because if you were going there to a team maybe who is a lot further up the league, maybe challenging for Europe, maybe challenging for Champions League places, suddenly then, you don't know how often he's going to play. They've got lots of top players. You don't know how often Pablo Torre was going to be able to get out there and develop. But with Girona, you've got good faith there that he can get good game time, regular game time to really help him develop as he should be. And number three there, one of the best things about this is it's still pretty local. You know, Girona here is just one hour outside of the city of Barcelona. So quite clearly there, he's still going to be able to acclimatise to the city to the culture here and that is really important too. Looking at his long-term future at this club, we want him to feel comfortable here to be the kind of player that he can be and I just hope that he goes away here and has a terrific loan at Girona. I want to see him go there and recapture the kind of player that we were seeing at Racing Santander with all of that potential, with all of that excitement that he was generating and I want to see Pablo Torre back at this club in the future. I want to see him succeeding here because I really, really do believe that he can. So good luck to him. Good luck to Pablo Torre, who will go the other way 
in the Romeo deal. So that there, guys, is the very latest Barca news right now. And like I say, as we get closer to this preseason tour of the USA, just as we're starting to see now, things are starting to happen. The wheels are starting to be in motion on the transfer front. And hopefully now we can see lots more happening over these coming days and weeks. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on everything we have discussed in today's video. And as always, guys, I really, really hope that you have enjoyed it today and I will see you all soon. Thank you for that great support. It really does mean a lot. But until next time, as always, Vishka, Hilbasa. Uh -huh.